Your Toyota VC dealers present VC Outdoor Sport Fishing with your host, Mike Mitchell. VC Outdoor Sport Fishing is brought to you by Yamaha, Rapala, Duncan B. Lodge, Lowrat, Port Boathouse. Welcome everybody to BC Outdoor Sport Fishing. Have we got a special guest? It's been a while. Welcome yeah, a back years. to the show, Jabron. Thanks, Mike. So Jabron White, Nook of Marine Adventures, and I got this down. His acronym is MOM, right? Marine Operations Manager. That's correct. Of the whole kit and caboodle. That's so for all, all right. the resorts. Correct. Awesome. All right, so Jabron, let's talk about first of all where we're at, right? Uh, in conjunction and how people can get here and stuff. Okay. And then what are we doing? Okay, we're uh, fishing at one of our floating resorts, mm -hmm. all-inclusive, which is Nooka Sound Resort. Okay. We also have Mucha Bay Resort, yeah. which is a drive-to yeah. land base where you launch the yeah, boat. Yeah, that's right. And then we have another floating resort, which is uh, Newton Cove yeah. Resort, and that is over in Esperanza. So we're going to fish Nooka Sound yeah. over the next couple of days. And we're, uh, sorry to cut you off there quickly, but we're about, how far are we from the ferries here? That's really kind of a, a benchmark, right? We're, Campbell River is about an hour and a half from Nanaimo. Okay. And then you're another two hours from Campbell River, yeah. uh, right out to... Easy drive, drive and yeah. if you're coming out to the resort, the boats pick you up, right, drive you out to the floating resorts, yeah. or you can fly in, or you can lots fly. of options, or if you're staying right at uh, Mucha Bay, or yurts, or cabins, or yeah. lots of stuff going on right around, right? So, Multi multiple opportunities, All right, now sure. the good stuff. Where are we going to fish and what are we going to fish for? We're going to fish for the migratory Chinook, yep. which are primarily U.S. bound at this time. There are some of our own local fish showing up, yep. but uh, most of the fish that we're targeting right now are U.S. bound fish. So we may do a bit of fishing on the inside, but more than likely we're going to be outside probably five to six miles offshore around Bajo Reef. Yep. Weather's supposed to be decent. We've heard there's also some coho out there yeah. and again lots of Chinook. Yeah. And the odd others, there's lots when you're in this area, there's lots going on, right? Lots to see, lots to do, so. Lots of bait, lots of, like you just touched on, there's yep. been some uh, bumps, good bumps of schools of coho, small ones mm -hmm. showing up early, so that's that's good too. And we're just waiting for our buddy Mike Hudson to come in. He's flying in like the... Rock star. Yeah, rock star <laughs> he is. He's coming yeah. in from somewhere, so we're going to wait for that float plane, and then we're going to maybe go and do a night fish uh, this evening, yeah. and then we're going to hit it hard tomorrow morning and see what we can do. You bet. I'm, I'm excited because I know I know what's in store. So we're going to get them. We're going right, to do well, it. Let's wait, buddy. Let's All wait right, for Mike. Mike. You bet. I'm going to take the boat out. Nice. I'm going to slow it down, ladies. <laughs> Mike, how's it feel? Talk, Mike, talk, it breathe. Feels, it feels great. <laughs> breathe. We got a double header. I think First. I know if I'm going under you, you're under, you're under. There we go. There we go. Then. Okay, turn the boat that way. Uh, back in. Well, I can do this cross again. Which way do you want to go? Just that way out. Okay. There's a bunch of boats right here. Holy. Yeah. Oh, that's a hot run. There you go, boys. That's hey, that's that's not a bad start. Mine, mine ran early. Yeah. How's yours feel, Jabron? Yeah. yeah. Which one was which? I couldn't tell because the real sound. Which one was running that all that? Mine, mine was running early, pretty good. And that was yours. That was making that long run. Yeah. That's great. Guaranteed a lot bigger than Huddy's. <laughs> oh, I saw the tail swirl though. <laughs> tail swirl? Yeah. Came out of the water. Oh, that's good. That's a good start yeah. to the day. That's good morning. You know, we, were, came, into this, we came into this spot here, caught killer whale. Yeah. And we were out here last night just having a quick pre fish. 
We saw a sea lion over on the, the can over here, right? Lots of predators, Mike. Lots yeah. of predators. All right. Including us. <laughs> <laughs> but we were wondering if last night... Yeah, I think it put the fish down because we could see him on the sound. Look at that. Nice, nice fish. First double ever, Mike. <laughs> Together, him and I. You want to get this one in the boat there, Mike? Yeah. There we go, one one down. What do you want to do with this, Mike? Would you like to keep this one? No, I think I'm going to let her go. Okay, well, let's keep it. Yeah, let's See if you can grab it, Mike. Hurry up, because we have another one in the net here. I love these long yeah. And then this the great thing about this short bath here too is we have a good option again at least it's all rubber coated so if you want to you can that's Kinda doesn't nice. pull all the scales off yeah well, i think we will let this one go yeah okay that, uh, that's three just and a that four inch cop car has been working awesome no is it on your hand or wrapped? he's wrapped a little bit there got it there you go if you move that net yeah let him go. Beautiful fish. Don't let this one go. He's gone. I think mine was bigger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, now, you see how he waited to say that until yours is gone, Jerron? Right. Yeah. Good job, Good job, guys. Good start. Right on. That was amazing. That was That's the way two, to start two minutes. Right two minutes in. All right. Please follow us on Facebook and Instagram for upcoming television and podcast schedules. Closed captioning brought to you by the world-famous Duncan B. Lodge, located in beautiful Rivers Inlet, British Columbia. Welcome back to BC Outdoor right. Sport Fishing. That's a little coho, I think. First of the season, first coho this season. Sky in. So, Jabron, what's the retention on coho around here right now? It is a two a day, but they both got to be hatchery clipped hatchery out clipped. here. All right. On the inside, you can have, uh, it can be either wild or hatchery. There you go. Just made an adjustment to the depth on the side here, too, which is kind of neat. The bank is off. You see the, you see the way that these fish bite, which is totally different than what a Chinook does. Right? He is right there at the boat. They get him with that net there, that rubberized net. It's good. The candidate for a release net. Get ready, Mike? No need to hold the bag. You just throw it by. Textbook. What kind of textbook? Wild fish. Quickly release him. Hooks out. Hooks out. So just dump him in the net. Yeah, that's not. You don't have to touch him then. Perfect. Okay, Kirk, you want to get over there? Yeah. Wait. Wait. Hold on, Mike. Perfect. Yeah. All right, Perfect. good. No harm done. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't. 
Oh no. Oh, no. Oh no. Oh my. Keep rolling, Kirk. Keep rolling. Mike. Mike. Oh, oh. oh, oh Mike. no. Oh my. Oh, oh. This has started taking line. Well. <laughs> Are you gonna count that one against me? Okay. Oh, it's Mike and Mike. I'm done. Hey, it's okay. You know what? It's okay. I'll get Mike, over it. Hey, Mike, it's okay. It's okay. That's the bait ball we're looking for. Fish feeding above it. Concentrated bait on the bottom. Come on. Yeah. Is that a fish, Mike? It seems like a fish. Okay. 67. 67. All right. All right, hey, fish on, fish on! <laughs> there we go. There we go. Hey, Mike, another double hey, header. I know. What do you got there? You think you got a coal? No, I think it's a shot. I think I got a coal here. Yeah, never know. Oh. I think I got a coal. The way this guy's acting. Double hitter coho again. What did we get that one on? That's a Chinook. Is that bait? That's a Chinook. That's a little spring. Nice catch. Whoa, there we go. Oh, it's long release. That's, That's okay. Short release. <laughs> Too a little small anyway. That's yeah. all right. Good stuff. Well, double hitter. We can back down. We'll go. Drop your anchor. We'll be right back. Welcome back to BC Outdoor Sport Fishing. Learning with the pros. Brought to you by your Toyota BC dealers. Today I'd like to talk to you about what we had to do to be successful for today's uh, fishing trip. Uh, last night we went out to one of the areas that's been very popular and on fire and, and when we got there we were marking a lot of bait, marking a lot of fish, but we didn't have a single bite. Uh, I wasn't sure if maybe the killer whales had gone through or what had happened, but we could see the fish, we could see the bait, but we weren't getting fish. Uh, so this morning I thought we would try a different spot, which we did do, but in the end we wound up going back to where we found the fish, where we saw the bait, where we were marking fish and bait on the sounder, and uh, we had to wait it out. We had to go down a little deeper to find them, but we did find them as you saw on the show. Uh, so it's, sometimes it's, you know, it, it, you really got to rely on your gear. You got to rely on your electronics. You got to go with your gut instinct. It's, it's, the, old, it's the old saying, you got to stick, stay and make it pay. And that's what we really had to do on this trip uh, to be successful and, uh, and get the fish that we did get. For more tips like this, tune in next week or check us out online. Learning with the pros, brought to you by your Toyota BC dealers. It's not huge. Oh, is it active though? I'll hop with a net here. Might be a coal on the side. Big coal. It's a hatchery. That's a hatchery one. Yeah. Double check. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I can see that. Hatchery clip. Hatchery coal. Clip. Good sized fish. Nice little chrome bullet. Nice for the table. Perfect. Hey, there you Perfect. go. Perfect barbecue fish. Right on. The best part about it is you guys can do all your processing in at the dock, right? That's right. Yeah, we have a licensed government inspected uh,
Yeah! <laughs> That's off the clip. That's, That's better. Great. That's better. That is better. How come I'm fiddling around with a little squirt here? I think you set me up, didn't you? That's okay. Hey. Still there or gone? Say Ripper. Good fish. Mike Mitchell, we got a good fish here. Right on, I'm just gonna leave this line in. Okay. Just, there you go. Check this your leaders. We'll be right back. Here's a look at today's Welcome tackle back. in Divisi Outdoor Sport Vision. Hello, folks. We're going to talk about the gear that we've been using on today's episode. Uh, saltwater fishing, standard for the last few years for us, has been the classic moocher. Ten and a half foot, light, medium action. Again, you see the sensitivity. We've had some big fish on there, some little fish as part of fishing. But you can see that bite, right? And it's great. Yep. It's important to see that sensitive bite, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the reels today are the shift reels. Uh, large arbor, great paddles on here, too, because I've had a couple times today where the fish were running and... Your fingers knocked in there a couple times, but it's nice to have the big UV pads on right? Yeah, no, they're <laughs> nice. for sure. They're nice and they pick up line fast. With yeah. That driver. That's really nice. On the line today, we used we basically used high-vis uh, orange and high-vis yellow, suffix 25-pound test. And we actually had a, the, the blue line out there too, the regular kind of uh, color line out there as well too. But mostly we're using the high-vis line. And that's, again, it's just easier to see on camera, but it's nice also too. Uh, lower light conditions too. We're, we had a couple times where we we're dancing around underneath each other. It was nice to see where the, where the lines are going. Yeah, there. absolutely. And those double headers for sure. And then we show up again too in our, our floating tackle shop here, and we let you go through to pick what you wanted. And you went through, and you got some some standards that you've been using over the years up here, right? And that starts with flashers and stuff. So you can talk a little bit about the flashers. Yeah, uh, one of the, one of the flashers I really like this year is the this UV glow with a white background, mm -hmm. and it's been producing very well for us all season, mm -hmm. uh, for me in particular. And then we, we teamed that up with the uh, white UV flash fly. And then we ran some bait off that as well. We ran yep. some teaser heads. So we kind of moved things around a little bit yep. during our trip. Uh, this is a new teaser head that I have not seen before. Mike brought this up. Worked awesome today. Uh, and those are the two custom uh, color ones. So here's the chrome version, but these are the BCO teaser heads. And Lighthouse Lures are our, our, our partners there. Created these, uh, the VCO custom teaser heads, and again, we used both these specifically well, these are and exclusively today. These are brand new tied up, and, and <laughs> Look at the, as you can see, this, the, the bite marks. There's, there's hardly any paint left yeah. on that one. And, and then, then, yeah, we switched over a little bit too, right? Yeah. And that was a key today as well, so far as been running different things, right? So yeah. we went from uh, dyed green anchovies, flash fly, to some some spoons, and this is a this is a staple up and down the coast. It, it's right? just the old standby, four inch cop car, uh, the old original cop car, silver one side, not the glow strip, silver mm -hmm. one side, and it, it teamed that up with thirty pound suffix. Uh, fluorocarbon. Yep, fluorocarbon. And bait too. So when we're running anchovies today too, is I, I love the chartreuse green. I've been using yep. it exclusively on our show now for probably the last four or five years. And I'm a firm believer in that green color. And, and it adds a little scent and a little color, a little different variation. And we got bit lots on the bait. We had lo too. lots of bites on the bait. Yeah. Every piece of bait we put in the water got hit by something. Yeah. And this also gives you an advantage over 90% of the people there are just salting their bait mm -hmm. and not curing it. Yeah, it stands out. And so it stands out. It just gives you a little something different for the fish to yeah. look at. And then, of course, we got to talk about the boat. It's your first time on the BCO Red Boat, and it's nice, the big the big deck space we have on the North River. Handled the weather really nice last awesome. night. Yeah. Uh, 350 power. We were showboating a little yeah. bit today, having <laughs> yeah. some fun coming in off that water. And then, and then too, we, you know, we got the brand new F25 on here too. We used to use the, the T25, but we're the first guys now on the coast here of the F25. And a 25 horsepower, some guys are like, oh, that's overkill, it's overkill. But you know what, when you're getting into current waves, and you know, wakes from other boats and stuff, and you're trying to keep the boat steady for those tacks. It's important to have that enough horsepower, uh, right? Lots of power, and uh, you know, I, you know, I'm impressed, very impressed yeah. with it. And then of course, Scotty High Performance Downriggers, 18-pound cannonballs, 
15 pound on one side, 18 on the other one, because we only had one 18 left from some mishaps from last year. Yeah. But that's all part of it. And then the low rant sounders, again, key today, right? We talked Absolutely. about finding that structure, finding the bait and sticking on it. And without those sounders. Absolutely yeah, crucial. You're marking, crucial. You're marking waypoints, not because there's fish there, but because of your bait. And you're trying yeah. to see, this was what I found really interesting too, and we'll touch on it a little later, but you were marking waypoints of bait and then you were seeing which way they're going so we could follow that. We're right? trying to follow the drift, yeah. yeah. We're trying to stay on the bait because the yeah. fish are going to stay on the bait. So yeah. I always, at the end of the day, I'll clear them because tomorrow might not mean yeah. anything. But I always quick save where we're hitting fish, yeah. where we're getting our bait, and, and figure out which way they're drifting. Are they drifting up the reef yeah. or are they drifting yeah. out? So sometimes they go against the tide. So if the yeah. tide's ebbing, they're swimming into it. So I yeah. just try to keep track. And that's... The Laurent Sounder is absolutely crucial. Every single boat in yeah. our fleet, we have 42 boats. Every single boat is, is outfitted with Laurent Sounders. Oh, that's awesome. All right, folks, we're going to follow up with a quick list for you. Get your notepads out, and we'll see you out on the water. Hey, you can slow that down, Mike, please. Not right off, yeah, just yeah. half of that. Good fish. Mike Mitchell, we got a good fish here. Right on, I'm just going to leave this line in. Okay. There he goes. This is the one we've been waiting for. This is a good fish. That's how you net them. See that? Nice. Oh, wow. What a pretty <laughs> that fish. Great. Look at that. Look at that. He's also flipped. Oh, look, the leader broke. Oh no. Buried them too. Nice, nice job, fish. man. Nice Thanks, fish. buddy. Hey. And you know what? Hatchery fish as well, too. Hatchery fish. Beautiful. Yeah. On the license in the box, and we're going to head back in. Thanks again. That's been fantastic. My Hospitality, pleasure. fishing, even the companies were pretty decent, i got to say. We've had yeah. lots of fun, lots of laughs, and <laughs> we even learned something every time we go out fishing with new guys. And yeah. It's been a great show, but thanks again for having us. Very welcome, Mike. And thank you, folks, for joining us on BC Outdoor Sport Fishing. We look forward to having you join us on a future episode.